Sarah from Stone Eagle Handcrafted Massage Stones and today I'm actually going to show you how to work the back of the leg with the hot stones. So we've oiled the entire leg and the glutes all the way down and onto the foot making sure there's enough oil on the inside and the outside of the leg also. We're going to start with our medium working tools. I always start with the back of my hand. Again, your medium working tools are sitting comfortably in the palm of your hand. So I move up the leg, back down, and then I come in nice and firm. Back down to the back of the knee and flip. We need to flip to make sure that we're actually not burning our hand and we're transferring the heat back down to the client. So we do a few effleurage moves. Nice and firm. All the way back down to the ankle. And we're going to do effleurage moves here as well. light pressure at the back of the knee and firm pressure at the upper leg. All the way back down to the ankle. This time we're going to do what I call my Chinese burn move which is your hand crisscrossing each other only with stones. So the stones sit firmly in the palm of your hand and you're going to squeeze the muscle and relax back over. So it's squeezing the muscle then relaxing back over squeeze the muscle relax back over so repeat this move all the way up to the back of the knee then we skip the back of the knee and then we do your upper leg squeeze and relax squeeze really lifting that muscle up squeeze you kind of have to go more in an angle at this point so that you're not going too far up on the inside. And then we flow back down until we get to the back of the knee. This is where we hold our stones firmly with your fingers at the front. The power is coming from this point in your palm. And we're actually going to strip the muscle going up towards the glute. So it's an alternating move. Notice my fingers are very much involved with this move. It's important you don't try and strain your wrist by bringing the stones back. Just make sure the pressure is coming in through your wrist into the leg. So we move all the way to the outside to the IT band. This is a very strong move, so be careful not to go too hard. Remembering the heat is just relaxing that muscle for you so you can go in a lot deeper and it's easier for you to work it. Then I come on the inside to the adductors as well and all the way up to the glutes. Then we can relax back down all the way to the ankle and off at the feet. Now I'm going to use our oblong stones. Again, the stone fits comfortably in the palm but you also need to use your fingers at the front to hold it. So again we start with the back of our hand because we don't want to just go straight in with a hot stone. So I flow up, come back down, nice and firm, going up, back down and we're going to flip that stone. Repeat, back down and flip. Now we're going to go into the glutes. Now what I'm doing again is holding the stone at the front mm -hmm. and I'm pushing from this point and I'm going deep into the glutes. Slow, firm pressure is always better you allow that heat to penetrate into the muscle and it helps to relax those superficial muscles. 
So then we move back down to the lower part and we want to split the calf muscle or the gastric nemus. So what I do is I like to apply pressure down with one stone moving up the center and then relaxing back down. I'm just going to show you my hand to the side so you can see what I'm doing. Moving up and relax back down. You can use two stones as well and you can kind of do that with holding the front and just one following the other going all the way up. Now the more you tilt that stone the deeper it's going to go so just be careful with your climb. You can also work all the attachment points in through here with your oblong if they're tight. And another method I like to use is I bring the foot up and I rest the ankle on my shoulders. Using one stone I place at the ankle and I use my other hand with pressure and I move down. That goes nice and neat too, but notice how slow I go as well. Slow is always better. From this point I can also work in through the ankle. Be careful of the bones, you don't want to massage bone. But it does feel really nice having the ankles worked. And you can also come into the feet. You can also work the feet with the foot down as well. And then we can finish with a nice effleurage. And that's what I like to do for the back of the leg. We can also use cold at this point, followed briefly by hot. But that's just your general outline for using hot.